Okay, now for question number 16 from the specimen paper for the um, 2020 new IGCSE syllabus from the University of Cambridge. A hexagon has, a hexagon has five angles that each me measure 115 degrees. Calculate the size of the sixth angle. Okay, good. So a hexagon, all right, now don't get confused by this wording, all right, a hexagon has five angles, no, a hexagon has six angles, but the question is telling you five of the angles are 115 degrees, and the sixth angle is the one that you, you need to find, okay? So don't think, oh, a hexagon has five angles, no, a hexagon actually has six angles, but five of them are 115 degrees, and you need to find the, the size of the sixth angle. So a hexagon has five angles, so all the five angles are the same, but the sixth angle, we got to find what it is. Now, so we need to know what the sum of the interior angles in a in a um, hexagon is okay so for any polygon the sum of the interior angles okay so when they mention the angles of course they don't mention interior exterior so they of we assume they mean interior okay so the sum of interior angles in any in any polygon uh, is given by a formula which can be understood as uh, 180 times um, the number of sides minus 2 okay 180 times the number of sides minus 2 okay and if you did a little um, kind of I'm just going to show you this just for your information like for example here we have a quadrilateral it's made up of two triangles the sum of angles in this triangle is 180 the sum of triangle angles in this triangle is is 180 so the sum in, in total sum of the angles in this in this quadrilateral is 180 times okay um, two triangles okay two triangles so you can see that there's four sides and there's two triangles so it's like 180 times 4 minus 2 okay if you have for example a not a quadrilateral but a pentagon with five sides one two three four five you can see you can split this up into Three triangles one two three so it's 180 times okay three because there's three triangles there's 180 in that triangle plus 180 in that triangle plus 180 in that triangle so it's 180 times three but there's five sides so it's like 180 times five minus two that gives you 180 times three so the number of sides in the polygon minus 2 tells you how many triangles there are going to be in the tri in, in the polygon. So, for example, if you had a hexagon like we have here, that's going to give you, give you a hexagon. 1, 2, 3, 4, five, oh, one more side, sorry. There we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so if I was to do the same thing here, make a line from there to there, and a line from there to there, and a line from there to there, Okay, I have one, two, three, four triangles. Okay, so this is 180 times four, and the number of sides is six, so it's like 180 times six minus two. Okay, so the number of sides in the polygon minus two tells you how many triangles they're gonna be when you split, split them like this in the, in the in whatever polygon it is. Okay, so that's just a little background to where this formula comes from. Again, you know, memorizing formula is, you know, fine, However, I really do prefer that students understand where these formulae come from. So I normally, in my lessons, I have like these kind of investigations that students do where they discover these formulae for themselves. But anyway, that's where the formula comes from. 180 times the number of triangles in that polygon and the number of triangles is always going to be two less than the number of sides that the polygon has. So the sum of interior angles in a hexagon is going to be 180 times 6 minus 2, which is 180 times 4 which gives you uh, 720 degrees let me just make sure I didn't make a mistake there that's gonna be four, 400 plus 320 just make sure so you got 180 times 4 which gives you 720 degrees so 720 degrees is the number of sides in, uh, sorry is the sum of the angles in this polygon so you have five angles which measure 115 degrees plus the sixth angle let's call it x say that's x okay is going to give us a sum of 720 degrees so we have to just solve this simple equation so you have 720 
Um, let's do 5 times 115. It gives you 575. So you have 575 degrees plus x equals 720. So x is equal to 720 minus 575. And there we have the answer to the question. So 720 minus the last answer that was showing gives you 145 degrees. 145 degrees is the size of that sixth angle. And there we have the answer to question number 16. Um, number 17 can be found in the playlist, which can be found in the description below this video. The link for it will be found there. Thank you for watching.